Good afternoon. You can respond back if you want. Okay, oh, thank you. That was good in this area over here. Maybe it was the high school. Um, welcome to Havre de Grace High School for the 2000, or excuse me, 2023 All County Jazz Concert. This is our last one of the season. Super excited uh, for you to hear all these people, not to be over. Um, I am Jeffrey Winfield, the very proud supervisor of fine arts for Hartford County Public Schools. I'd like to take just a few moments to thank all those who've helped make this concert season run so smoothly. The Haber de Grace Middle High School Administration, Mr. Brad Spence, principal for the use of their school, Mr. Rick Hupp for being our amazing host, the custodians who have been so very helpful to us throughout the entire process, the HCPS Office of Technology who is making an audio recording of our concert today, the team from Harford TV for producing a videotape that will soon air on their network. Please join me in a round of applause for all these people and these groups. <laughs> My greatest thanks go to the dedicated and caring professionals who teach these students and for the first time are on the stage. This is exciting. They spend hours coaching and supporting them from the audition process to rehearsals and finally the concert. Thank you, teachers. So, I guess you're wondering what our teachers are doing on the stage. Over the process of rehearsals the past few weeks, they decided they wanted to play because they love to play and don't have many opportunities to play in groups together. So they're getting what they want tonight. Um, performers not in the program, in the front of the program are all of our band teachers in our 10 high schools. In addition to that is Terry Matthews on piano from Baylor High School, Jeff Bronze alto sax from Abingdon Elementary School, Kristen Novak, trombone from North Hartford Middle School. Oh, he didn't make it. Um, <laughs> uh, Taylor Quinn, uh, trumpet, Faustin Middle School, and Liz Antwarg, trombone, Faustin Middle School. Hey, let's thank those that came to help out. Yesterday, I asked them what they would like to be, um, how they would like to be introduced. <laughs> and this was really fun. Um, here are some of the cutting room floor titles. We still have a pulse. <laughs> Chops, don't fail me now. These were funnier yesterday, Rick. Um, <laughs> still got it. Listen with half an ear, please. We typically aren't the complainers, and teachers know what that is. Um, and then I like this one, are we getting paid for this? <laughs> we play for food. Hit me with that 7% again. <laughs> That's what teachers got, they got 7% raised this year. It was pretty, it was pretty sweet. It, it, it's not, and that's okay. It's not gonna happen, but we can dream, we can dream. Um, we, oh, high school, this is for you. We ain't afraid to show you up. Wait, yeah, yeah, way to hear them though, okay? Um, this is one of my favorites. Um, we hope we don't need oxygen. If you see anyone starting to move a little bit, uh, I'll go run and catch. Uh, but anyway, thank you for indulging me. They will be playing Four Tunes, Hay Burner by Sam Nestico, Foul Play by Chris Berg, Pegasus by um, Hank Levy, Birdlin by Joseph Zawunul, Zawunul, arranged by John Higgins. And this is like my favorite thing. You know, I had to take this because microphones around music teachers and especially band teachers, oh, you just don't, you just don't want that because we'd be here for the next 25 minutes listening to them talk. So anyway, please join me in welcoming the Harford County Public School Faculty Jazz Ensemble. Thank you. 
And, and there you ha <clears throat> have 15 reasons why we have such amazing music programs. Let's give them up another hand, please. <clears throat> we have, before, we, uh, before I introduce the um, conductor, we have a student on stage who has attained the honor of being in the 2020-23 Maryland All-State Senior Jazz Band. Mr. Ben Rowland, would you please stand? The amazing Mr. Keys. I can't wait for you to hear him. He's going to be our representative at the state level. Congratulations, Ben, and thank you so much. Bassist, composer, performer, and teacher, Dr. Miles Brown, comes from a musical family and began playing the bass at an early age. He attended the Eastman School of Music for his undergraduate degree, earning a Bachelor of Music in Music Education and Jazz and Contemporary Media. In 2003, he received a Master of Music in String Bass Performance from Manus College of Music and earned a doctorate in Jazz Performance from Eastman in 2012. In fall 2018, Miles joined the University of Delaware's full-time faculty as Assistant Professor of String Bass and Jazz, where he teaches applied string bass lessons, jazz history, string methods, and contemporary literature. I encourage you to read the rest of his impressive bio in our program. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Miles Brown and the 2023 All-County Jazz Ensemble.
Thank you very much, everybody. It's an honor to be here tonight. Uh, we've, uh, this band has just put together for the last two days, basically, and they sound uh, really great. That featured uh, Brendan. They, I think you have uh, everyone's full names in your, um, in your program, so I won't uh, say last names right now, but we had Brendan, Philip, Jason, Ben, and Michael take solos on that one. Give them a big round of applause. So this is a very true honor uh, for me to come uh, do this. I'm a Harford County resident as well. I live in Abingdon, um, and so it's really cool uh, to meet all the, the players here, and, and uh, many thanks to Mr. Winfield and all of the teachers uh, for having me here. It's really, it's really, I've been having a great time these last couple of days. Uh, these uh, five tunes that we picked, there's a couple changes in the program. Uh, that first piece was called The Three J's by um, Ellen Rowe, who is a uh, uh, co composi jazz composition and arranging professor at the University of Michigan. Um, the next piece we're going to do is uh, another tune by um, a friend of mine, a guy named Brett Zvacek, who teaches at uh, SUNY, uh, the, one up, the one way up north, uh, Potsdam, SUNY Potsdam. Um, and then we're going to add one more piece in the middle. Uh, I'll talk about that in a little bit. And then the last two will be Invitation and Jody Grind. So the order is a little bit different. Um, this next piece uh, is called uh, Close Quarters by Z Brett Zvacek, and it's going to feature, just raise your hand when I call your name, Devin, Tristan, uh, then we're going to have a, a three trombone battle by uh, Nico, Josh, and Noah, and uh, then we're going to finish out the solo section with Jason uh, on the trumpet. This is Close Quarters.
So I'm going to do a little bit more talking, um, mostly uh, to give the brass players a chance to rest their chops for a minute. Uh, raise your hand if you played an orchestra today, too, the orchestra concert and the dress room. Yeah, so um, give them a big round of applause. <laughs> Just give them a little water break, um, give them a chance to rest their chops, especially for this next one. It's a beautiful ballad. Um, it's a, there's a lot of playing, though. Uh, the composer of this next piece uh, is a man, was a man named Fred Sturm. He was a mentor of mine. Um, in fact, when I was these guys' age, I was the bass player for the New York All-State Jazz Band, and um, Fred was the director of that particular ensemble, and I went to go study with him at Eastman um, afterwards. He's a beautiful composer, arranger, a wonderful, wonderful person. Uh, and uh, he always had a, a, a way with the titles, uh, with his titles that he, that he, that he chose. So uh, he wanted to write a, a ballad. He was asked to write a piece of music for some friends that were getting married. Uh, and uh, he wanted to write something that was sort of like hymn-like, like, like uh, you know, uh, church-like, hymn-like. Um, and he made the connection that if he wrote something uh, that was like a hymn, it could be for her. So this is called a hymn for her, if you get it, right? And this was their, uh, Fred's gift uh, to the, this couple for their marriage, uh, for their wedding. Uh, but it's, it's a beautiful piece of music, uh, and it really features a lot of different ensemble colors. Uh, uh, trumpets, hold up your flugelhorns. We managed to get a four flugelhorn section, which is a really beautiful color. Um, you'll see some of the trombone players maybe put their trombones in the stand a little bit to get a little bit of a, a darker, uh, darker sound. And this also features Philip uh, on a flugelhorn solo uh, a little bit um, on I into, the, into the way of the piece here. So this is a hymn for her.
So um, Mr. Winfield was kind enough to introduce me a little bit. Um, I just uh, I came to the area in 2017. My wife is also a musician. She teaches at the Peabody Institute. Um, and I was lucky enough to get a job uh, when I came uh, here. I was originally, uh, I was in Detroit for eight years, uh, uh, running a jazz band very similar uh, in this, uh, to a sense like uh, to this band here. Uh, when I moved here in 2017, I was fortunate enough to get a job at University of Delaware as the bass professor. It's been a wonderful home for me so far. It's just up the street. Um, it's really uh, uh, a great place. And I, I met there the director of the jazz program. His name is Tom Palmer. Um, he's a wonderful musician, plays drums and piano, um, and arranges and composes. Uh, and it's been really fun to work with him. Uh, the band that he runs up there, uh, Put on, they put on a series of concerts, of course, every semester. Um, and one semester, Tom uh, programmed this next uh, tune, and I thought it was such a great arrangement. Um, it was really accessible, it made the band sound good, um, and I thought I would bring it uh, to the group uh, to play uh, for, this, for this weekend, and they have not let me down. They, it sounds really good. Um, so this is gonna feature a couple people um, here as well. Uh, this features Phil again, right? Um, and I have to give uh, some credit to our percussionists here, Isaiah and Matt. Uh, they don't have a necessarily a dedicated solo, but they've been, they're the drivers of the, of the band. So put your hands together for our drummers. Thank you. So this is a really great uh, standard jazz tune called Invitation. I hope you enjoy.
Thank you very much. Uh, the last tune is a really fun tune, um, uh, written originally by the great pianist Horace Silver, uh, but arranged by uh, one of my personal idols, a man named John Clayton, um, great jazz bass player, composer, and arranger. Uh, uh, came to arranging a little bit later in his life when he was the bass player with the Count Basie Orchestra, and he tells the story that uh, you know he didn't know what he was doing, but he had the 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 you know the courage, I guess, to go to Count Basie and say, you know, can I write? some stuff for the band, and he started, and um, he said, self-admittedly, he made plenty of mistakes along the way, uh, but he was, uh, he <laughs> certainly has fixed all those mistakes by the time he arranged this. Uh, side note, also, if any of you remember, uh, uh, w speaking about this is Super Bowl weekend, uh, Whitney Houston uh, singing the national anthem for the Super Bowl, I think in the 90s, mid-90s sometime, D John Clayton did the, uh, did the arrangement for that particular version of the, of the national anthem, so it's the same arranger. Um, just a little little uh, cool piece of trivia there. So this is going to feature a bunch of rhythm section players, mostly uh, because this one is also kind of tough on the brass, so I thought uh, we would also feature our rhythm section players too. Um, it's Well, first it's going to feature Zach on first tenor, um, and then uh, Nick. Nick on vibraphone, right. So here's the, here's the round of uh, rhythm section players. Nick, uh, Ben on piano. Uh, Michael on bass and Devin on guitar, and then finally we're gonna um, end the solos with our with our man Cooper, who's gonna uh, on trombone, who's gonna uh, hold the rhythm down for us. A couple of people that I would like to uh, acknowledge uh, that didn't necessarily take uh, uh, improvised solos during the during the uh, uh, the section or the, during the concert here, but our instrumental, no pun intended, apologies, but uh, our really really a very important piece of the band, and that is uh, Matt. Uh, sorry. Tommy on the ba uh, Barry saxophone. You can hear him, he's got a great sound. Um, Eric also on the bass uh, trombone back there and Daniel on fourth trumpet, uh, who you have a little bit of feature here. Um, just all three of them have really nice sounds and, and they are um, helping anchor this side of the band. So bravo, put your hands together for, for these three <laughs> people over here. Did I? Okay, so this one's a really fun one. Uh, this is the Jody Grant. Again, um, it's been a pleasure to, to be here and work with the students. Uh, uh, you know, I, when I came here, I was like, I, I was so impressed with the level of musicianship of all the Hartford County schools. It was really nice. I have two kids uh, that go to Homestead Wakefield and uh, will eventually go to Patterson Mill. Um, so I'm excited that they're going to get be involved in this program. There is a lot of jazz, or there is starting to be a lot of jazz happening uh, in Hartford County. Uh, come talk to me if you're uh, interested in, in hearing about more um, after the concert. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you very much for being here on your Saturday night. And so we're going to close the concert with Jody Grind.
Give him one more hand. Thank you, man. <clears throat> Bravo. Thank you so much for spending some time with us this evening. Have a great night.